Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. In this video, we're going to look at how to select and manage multiple files in the file browser. This is helpful when you're wanting to manage multiple files at once, such as dragging and dropping a bulk of files from one place to another. Let's dig in. All right, so first I'm going to come down to my File Explorer, the yellow folder in the taskbar, and I'm going to go ahead and navigate to a folder here with some images in it. Now, one of the ways to select files is to check the box to the left of each file name. Now, to make sure you have these check boxes, click on View, then go down to Show, and then make sure we have item checkboxes turned on. You'll know it's turned on if you have the check mark. So now we can go ahead and select specific files in this list that we would like to work with. We might want to copy and paste them somewhere else, or maybe we want to delete them. Up here at the top, I have the scissors to cut and then paste them somewhere else. Here's my copy option if I want to copy them and copy them to another folder. And then here is the delete option in case I just want to delete these files. Okay, so another way to select your files is, let's say you want to select everything in the list. This can be done through a keyboard shortcut, which is Control A, A for all. Control A will select everything in the list. Another way to do this is to simply come up to your More menu, and you'll have the Select All option here. All right, now, Another way to select your files is to use the click and drag to select your files. I'm going to go ahead and left click and hold, drag over the files, and boom shakalaka, they're all selected. Now, another way to do this is to select a range of files in the list. For example, maybe I just want the first 10 or so files. I can click on the first one in the list, then come down a bit, hold shift, and left click. And boom, we've selected a range of files. If you want to add more to this, simply come down further, hold shift, and click. So that's a way we can select a range of files. Now let's see what this looks like when we copy these files to another location. I'll go ahead and come up here and select copy. Another way to do it, is to right click and select copy. Then we're going to go to our destination folder and here I can right click and there's my paste option. Notice I can also use the keyboard shortcut control V. And finally we also have the paste option up here at the top. Let's go ahead and hit control V and there it is. We've moved them We've copied them, rather, over here to another folder. Now, you might be asking, why is the shortcut Control-V? Well, V is a universal symbol for insert, uh, much like when you're editing writing and you put the little V symbol to indicate that something needs to be inserted into the sentence. So that's where the Control-V shortcut comes from. All right, well, I hope you liked this video. If you want to learn something else more specific, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.